couple chapters there and some information uh, to get you started if you'd like. Um, also, for uh, some of the uh, law on open carry, uh, which you need to familiarize yourself with when you're going to be out doing these events, uh, you can tune in to opencarrytexas.org and uh, see a lot of it there as well. And uh, don't forget we've got forums and Facebook groups uh, for Come Take It America, Open Carry Texas, and all of the chapters that you see flying flags here today and, and 20 others. So uh, thank you very much for coming out, guys. Stick around. Uh, don't forget the black powder uh, drawing over here. And uh, we're going to be doing a little walk around town after this, so stick around. All right, before we go to our last speaker, um, really quick, the chief, chief told me he brought over some water and sodas in these coolers here. So if you're thirsty, make your way over, grab a water or a, a soda there. Um, I want to introduce our Public Relations Director, Victoria Montgomery. Uh, she's going to talk a little bit about how we do, uh, as what he said, going out in the neighborhoods and things of that nature. Just, just some general safety guidelines and how we can be safe and keep the community safe at the same time. Hey everybody, I'm glad that you could come out today. I see that you know we have people from all over the state of Texas and we of course have supporters all across the United States and it's great that you woke up this morning or yesterday morning, whenever the case was, however far your drive was, drug your butt out of bed and said, I'm going to go stand up for my Second Amendment rights and my neighbor's Second Amendment rights and it's great to see you out here. I want to go over some safety guidelines that we came up with as uh, Open Carry Texas. Again, these are guidelines. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. As long as you're following the law, I don't care if you carry around your rifle with a round in it and carry it across your chest however you want. But then again, we do have some guidelines just to kind of make everybody else around us that maybe isn't comfortable with guns a little more comfortable. First off, of course, there's an obvious thing. Try not to open carry at night. It's just kind of a, a little bit of a different... A mental picture that people get when they see someone walking around at night with a gun rather than in broad daylight as we're doing right now. I mean, I myself would probably be a little more uncomfortable seeing somebody with a gun at night in my neighborhood than during the daytime. It's just one of those natural instinctive things I think we have, the predator instinct. Again, uh, don't try to wear sunglasses when uh, you're greeting somebody. When you see somebody on the street and they look confused or have questions about open carry, Take your sunglasses off, look them in the eye. Let them see you for who you are. Let them see that you're not a threat, that you're there as their friend, as their neighbor, as someone who's there to protect their rights, whether they like it or not. Also remember, not everybody's gonna like what you carry. We have a, a lot of butters, is the term I coined. I support the Second Amendment, but I like guns, but I have tons of guns, but they don't think we should open carry. They don't like open carry, they prefer concealed carry. That's their choice. But if that's their personal preference, that shouldn't restrict our choice and our right to open carry. So remember to just treat them with respect, you know, okay, I understand we have different, we have different opinions and go on about your business. Maybe leave them alone, distance yourself. Another thing, try not to wear vulgar shirts, you know, um, words with the F-bomb on it. That's just, that's not really professional. You probably don't want your kids seeing somebody walking around with uh, curse words all over their shirt either. It's the same reason. Try to, uh, I would say it's freedom of speech. I definitely, like I said, we're not restricting you. You want to wear a vulgar shirt, you know, that's your choice. But remember at the end of the day, you're representing open carry Texas and gun supporters as a whole. And if somebody sees you as some guy that's just cussing everywhere and talking about vulgar things, you know, they might think twice about, are those guys really Second Amendment supporters or are they just trying to get attention? Again, we've been called all sorts of names. We've been called attention whores. We've been called uh, gun bullies, a bunch of dumb rednecks. Uh, I mean, people even question our, our manhood, which floors me because about 40% of our membership is women. As you can see, looking around here, we have a ton of women out here as well. Speaking of which, uh, you may have heard of MDA, Mothers Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. These women absolutely hate guns. They do not want to see a gun. They do not want to hear a gun. Unless it's held by the military or the police, they think all guns should be hidden in closets. They will, they will come to our rallies and harass us, and that's fine. Just ignore them. But in a response, 
uh, one of our lovely members, Kathy Perkins, up in the Arlington area, has created a group, Mothers with Guns Demand Action. And I'd like to say I'm a proud member of that group as well. I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant with my first child, and I know that as a new mother, I'm definitely going to think a lot about my child's safety. When I'm carrying my baby around, I'm probably going to be carrying it, you know, on the front with those little baby carriers I make. And I'll have my AK-47 right here on my shoulder as I have it right now. I'll be coming to these rallies with a screaming child, and that child is going to grow up knowing what this country is all about. I want this child to come out and see people with guns and know that this is normal. This is how this country was founded. This is how we won our independence. If we weren't afraid to go out there, grab our guns and say, so what? You don't like seeing my guns? I'm sorry. That's not my problem. Because you have to realize there are so many people out there who are emotionally challenged by the huge events that have taken place, the tragic events, like Newtown, the Aurora, Colorado uh, movie theater shootings, uh, even the Fort Hood shooting with the Dal Hassan. All these mass shootings scare people and place fear in their hearts when they see a gun. That's an unfortunate thing. They shouldn't fear the guns. They should fear the evil people that choose to use them in the wrong manner. Of course, they're still going to be scared. And that's not, there's nothing we can do about that other than educate them. And just because you see somebody with a gun, doesn't mean we're criminals. Look around yourselves. Do you see anyone dead right now? There's how many, how many quote-unquote assault rifles do you see around you right now, and how many dead people do you see? As somebody mentioned earlier, 88 out of 100 Americans own guns, and that's not just in Texas. That's in Maryland. That's in uh, you know the most liberal states you can think of, California. That's across the board. Again, the number's probably a bit higher here in Texas. Yet, do you see the world on fire around you right now? Obviously, economically, yeah, it definitely is. But look around yourselves. Do you see dead people everywhere just because a lot of people own guns? No, guns are not the problem, and I think we've reiterated that a few times. The number one weapon used to kill people in Texas isn't a gun. It's a hammer or a club. So when you see a construction worker getting a... Uh, his hammer strapped onto his belt, you better not call the cops and tell them you're alarmed because, you know, it's a deadly weapon and apparently it's been used a lot to kill people. And that's another thing. You know, everybody else has different perceptions. What I see when I look at somebody with a gun may be different from what so somebody else sees when they look at somebody with a gun. I walk uh, my large dogs, I have two Great Danes, I'll walk them down the street and some people are fearful. They're scared because they're big dogs. My dogs aren't snarling at anybody, they've never killed anybody, yet some people are just still scared. Maybe they had a friend that got bit by a dog. We don't know their situation. And I think the same thing applies with guns. Somebody will see a gun, the gun isn't being waved at anybody, it's not being shot at somebody, it's never killed somebody, yet people still see it and have that irrational fear. But we are not responsible for other people's emotions or lack of control of them. I'm not going to give up my rights, nor should you, because of how somebody else feels and what they, what they just feel deep down inside is wrong. At the end of the day, the open carry of long arms in Texas is legal. It's perfectly legal. It's legal to open carry a pre-1899 black powder revolver or pistol or replica. Again, a lot of people don't know simple things like a felon. A felon can have a black powder pistol because it's not considered a firearm in the state of Texas according to 46.01's definition of a firearm. It's not a firearm. It's just a weapon. So again, there are a lot of laws that people need to be refreshed on and take it upon yourselves to study those laws, try and memorize some of them if you can, and educate your neighbors. Maybe your neighbor doesn't like guns. Take one of these open carry Texas pamphlets Show it to them, tell them, hey, this is why we're doing this. We want you to be educated. We don't want you to be scared. We don't want you to feel threatened just because we're carrying guns. And I know that when my child grows up, I don't want my child being scared when he sees a gun either. That's, that's ridiculous. How many of us grew up in households where there, were, there was a gun present? We weren't automatically stricken with fear when we saw a gun, were we? No, that's because we were raised to respect a gun and use it properly. We need to spread that around a little bit more. 
Again, Kathy Perkins has her group that's uh, really focusing on getting mothers involved because a lot of people, like I said earlier, have this stigma that it's just a bunch of angry, old, white, redneck, Republican men. But in fact, you know, we have Hispanics, we have African Americans, we have, you know, Caucasians, Asians, whatever the case may be. We have atheists, we have Catholics, we have Buddhists, we have Republicans, Independents, Democrats, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, all of us want to be free. All of us want to protect our rights. So keep that in mind going forward from this day. Remember that the officers, even though sometimes they may have to act out of line, that's not their job. Their job is to serve us. I think Harlingen has proved in this whole encounter that they understand that. We've had nothing but great uh, interactions with these officers. We had the opportunity to sit in with them on their training seminar yesterday and go over some uh, common concerns with the officers, have some question and answers. Just because you see an officer doesn't mean you should necessarily hassle him or you know, say, I don't have to show you my ID. That's fine if you don't want to, that's fine. But remember, they're just doing their jobs normally. Yeah, there are a bunch of rogue cops who are just out there to cause problems. But don't be that rogue citizen that's just out there to cause problems either. But then again, of course, that depends on your uh, interpretation of a rogue citizen because to some people, us standing here with our weapons is making us rogue citizens. And we're troublemakers and attention whores for carrying our weapons, which is our right. So when we have these rallies, just keep that in mind. We have these rallies. Keep that in mind. We're going to be having another big rally here in uh, at the state, state capitol on January 19th. We're going to be having a rally up in Andrews, Texas, January 18th. We're also going to be having a rally in Beaumont. I don't know if any of you heard of it. Recently in the news, there was a man, uh, Derek, I, I forget his last name. I'm sorry. Derek Poe was arrested for uh, open carrying his firearm, his AK, or I'm sorry, AR-15, to his store, to his store in the mall. Had it on his back, wasn't waving it at people, just like we have our guns right now, we're not trying to scare people. And yet people in that mall got scared, called the cops, he was disarmed, and a warrant was issued for his arrest, just because he was going to his store with his gun. It's our duty to educate people and tell them, just because you see a gun, don't be scared. If somebody's waving a gun at people, yeah, okay, call the officers. But don't waste their time, don't waste our tax dollars to send officers out on insane calls that obviously, like if you drive by right now and you see people with flags and rifles, are we, are we about to go uh, string somebody up? Are we doing something terrible here? Do we look like we're engaged in crime? No, so don't call the cops. You know, there's a big difference, a big visual difference, and I think we can help impact that by just following some guidelines and remembering, you know, carry a gun as you would want to see someone else carry their gun. Maybe not point it at people, maybe don't hold it in the Arnold Schwarzenegger position in front of you like you're about to take everybody out. Obviously, you can under understand why some people might be uncomfortable with that. But again, I'd like to thank Harlan Jen PD and their chief of police mayor for coming out here and organizing this rally. It's been beautiful. As we've had nothing but positive interactions, like I said, I'd like to thank all of our guest speakers for coming out here. Come and take it for coming down here and helping us organize this rally. Thank all of you for your uh, donations that you're able to give us because it helps us have more and more of these rallies get people together and have the public see that we're just exercising our rights at the end of the day. Thank you. All right, again, thanks everybody. Uh, that's the end of our, our thing. I want to give you, uh, up here on the table, we've got a bunch of stuff that you can take for free. we got free constitutions. We've got some flyers that explain the law. It's got some general uh, questions and answers. You can take some of these with you as you're doing your walks to hand out to people as well. Come and Take It has uh, some cards, some uh, quote-unquote open carry permits, um, some also some pass a lot of things. We've also got a I'll donation jar if you can help us, and uh, some hats and t-shirts and hat pins uh, for sale as well. Other than that, that's it. We're done. Thank you very much. Uh, I believe you're going to do a walk, right? Yeah, so if you want to partake in the, the patriotic walk, follow Murdoch here, I guess. And other than that, thank you again for coming out and for supporting Daniel.